At this point, the blades are ready to go onto the hub. And so we've already cleared out the slots. So the technique of putting these on, we're going to um, take this tab right there and we're going to put it through the underside of the blade. And we want to make sure that we get it in right so that we don't um, make a gouge on that side of the of the tab. This one is looking pretty good. Um, you want to make sure that it's kind of uniform across here um, so that the, the tab is not sticking up too high through the slot. And go ahead and do the other one, two. The only part of the tab that you want to stick, having sticking through or sticking up high, is just that little piece on the back. And that is used as the rubber band hook. Let's get the third one on here. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just double check to make sure that it slides into the tube. So I'm going to take the tube and just shove in all the um, shock cord. All the shock cord has to go in first or it will, it will get stuck on that bottom ring. It acts as like the little plunger to push it all in. All right, so that's a really good fit. It's nice and loose. There's just a tiny amount of friction, and that's what we want. So now we'll open it up, and now we'll just flip it over, and we'll put a drop of glue right along that blade support and I'm using thin super glue here just a little bit on each side blades are permanently attached. And if you ever break a blade or if it like breaks in half, you can have to replace it. Um, but balsa is pretty easy to replace and I've had to do this before too. You just take a knife, cut away all the uh, balsa wood and then just sand down the pylon and then you can reattach a new balsa wood blade to it. All right, so now to uh, put the rubber bands on, we're going to take the rubber bands and just open them up, slip them over the nose cone onto the aluminum shaft there. Okay, so now I got them on and just take one of the rubber bands, we're going to stretch it across the blade and just hook it in under there. And that little hook is really all it needs to, uh, to grab on. And it will spring right up. So again, just grab it. Oop. Pull it over that little hook right there. And let it spring up. And then you get the last one. All right, so there's the hub, and it spins nice and free. And in the next step, we'll go ahead and balance the blade um, so that it spins evenly all the way around.